If you're one for nostalgia and childhood throwbacks, and the 80s and 90s are your glory days, then you probably remember a lot of the cartoons from the era. Many of those cartoons featured cool vehicles that children imagined themselves driving, riding in, or owning. And although most kids develop other interests or grow out of that phase altogether, some never lose that passion. For those kids at heart, we take a look at six real cars inspired by cartoons. The Mystery Machine from Scooby-Doo To be clear, there aren't many people who fantasize about owning a 1994 Chevy G20 cargo van. Andy Rankin, however, saw this one for more than it was. Yes, we know, Scooby-Doo is much older than 1994. However, in 2009, when the TV movie Scooby-Doo The Mystery Begins was filmed in Vancouver, Rankin says they had this van specially painted for its starring role. Cameras were mounted using two holes in the roof, which are still present. So, if you happen to have a Great Dane and a few meddling friends, then this mystery machine is right up your alley. Batmobile Batman Customizing a car nowadays is fairly expensive. If you want that one-of-a-kind feel, it can often cost more than the car itself. In 1965, you could buy the 10-year-old 55 Lincoln Futura for less than $1,000. This one in particular was bought for just $1. 15 grand later, it was ready to star in the legendary film and TV series Batman, thanks to car customizer George Barris. It took 15 days for Barris to form the sleek, black, iconic Batmobile to be driven by actor Adam West. When it was eventually put to auction, Barris stated, quote, I think it is the most valuable car in the world, and the public really get a kick out of it when they see it. Ecto-1 Ghostbusters Made famous in the 1984 box office hit Ghostbusters, this battered old Cadillac was turned into an exact replica of Ecto-1 by enthusiast Paul Harborn. While working part-time as a security guard, Harborn juggled work time and project time in order to turn his dream into a reality. In addition to the time investment, it also cost Harborn over 50,000 pounds. And although this Ecto-1 looks a lot like the version seen in the movie, the animated series had a lot of features added making this impressive and astonishing replica an extensive amount of work. Turtle Van – Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant, humanoid, crime-fighting turtles also need a way to get around. Over the course of more than a year of work, 23-year-old Brittany Schneck turned this 1994 Dodge Caravan into the turtles' preferred form of transportation. Brittany did an outstanding job with this replica. But if we're gonna get technical, it's not exactly authentic. It was a Volkswagen van that the Turtles used in their show. But because of the lack of availability for parts for the Volkswagen van, and the fact that Dodge Caravan parts are easily available, Brittany decided to go with the Dodge. If we might make one humble suggestion, Brittany, it would be this. No Ninja Turtle crime-fighting van would be complete without its own authentic pizza launcher. Donald Duck's Car Little known fact, Donald Duck's birthday is March 13th, or 313. This number can be seen in the amount of detail it took to create a real automobile from Donald Duck's Comic World car. With one look, you can tell that no female duck could ever ignore it. And although it's not very spacious in real life, only a few very small people can fit, Donald is known to have crammed many ducks into the car. The Flintstones For the rock-bottom price of just 2,200 euros, you can get a vehicle that is guaranteed to turn heads. This two-seater soft-top car is a replica of the original Flintstones car. Fred Flintstone was often seen using his own foot power to push this ride down the streets of Bedrock. But unlike the original, this replica of Fred Flintstone's car has its own working motor so the driver and the passenger can relax their leg muscles. This homage to the original has been lovingly crafted from wood and actually has two rollers in place of wheels. All we can say to that is yabba dabba do. 
Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and enable notifications so that you get every video that we upload right to your device right when it goes up. And thank you for your continued support.